The most active level of racing in Japan is what they call Sunday racing. This requires only a basic race license and most entrants are using street driven cars. Even so, this club meeting at the Sendai Highland Circuit had plenty of very quick GDRs in attendance. This is a brand new R34 M Spec Newer, probably the most desirable of all GDRs. This isn't a GDR, but the 260 RS Stagia uses all GDR running gear in a wagon body. Though there were some big singles, most cars were using twin low mount turbos. A good example of a club racing GDR is this R32. Though it's heavily modified, it has been built on a more modest budget than so. The bottom end of the engine is still standard, but makes plenty of power with Nismo LM type turbos and a tuned computer with Mines airflow meters. The owner, Hirohiko Hanyu, is not too concerned about detail but DIY tricks like the trim around the intercooler and the vent behind the oil cooler all make a difference on the circuit. The brakes are Brembo's from the V-Spec version with 17 by nine inch SSR wheels carrying Bridgestone semi-slick tires. Underneath there are no special suspension links, just a set of coilover shocks and some basic alignment tweaks. Inside the trim has been stripped out with a basic roll cage and rear tower brace. To preserve the engine, Hirohiko changes it around 7,000 RPM. To see how well this all works on the track, we stuck our in-car camera in the back for a timed lap.
Hirohiko has run faster, but 208 is still quick, given that the track was still slightly wet. A far more serious entry is this R34 GDR, owned by Hiroyuki Kanazawa, one of the official HKS test drivers. For a start, it has much larger brakes, with Ferrari F50 Brembo calipers at the front. Behind the Nismo front bar, there's a large intercooler with all custom piping in the engine bay. There are many special bolt-on parts, like the split-fire ignition coils, HKS fuel rail, and ARC radiator and header tank system. This car also has Nismo LM turbos, supporting around 600 horsepower, with HKS actuators fitted for better boost control. Tane's new electronically adjustable coilovers have also been fitted with an awesome titanium tower brace. The exhaust is also all titanium, with dual oil coolers mounted under the rear end for the transmission and differential. The standard trim is mostly intact, apart from the Recaro race seat. This car uses a Hollinger six-speed sequential transmission, which is a major advantage on the circuit. The Blitz boost controller also has a high boost switch mounted on the steering wheel. Watch as we take a ride, and you'll see Hiroyuki holding the high boost switch on straight sections of the track. Amazing 7 seconds faster than the R32 and still well short of the car's best time. 